Hello guys, uh, this is Hustle and Fun. Um, this is a 2010 um, Nissan Maxima and we're working on replacing a serpentine belt. So as usual, what we start with is taking off the tire, um, make sure that uh, you follow the safety procedures, you know, safety is number one, um, such as the blocking the tire. Um, as you lift up the front of the vehicle, um, on the right side, the passenger side, make sure that uh, once you lifted it up, it's uh, safely lifted up someplace uh, that's not going to crush the bottom of the car and you use a jack stand. Um, remove the wheel, you know, with the lug nuts and then uh, um, we can get started removing uh, the panel behind it where we can ac have access to the serpentine belt. What we're going to do here is uh, remove this cover plate right here. I already have removed uh, the tire and rim to get access uh, to this. Um, what you do is you have actually clips here. You have these three clips, actually four, five, six of them. I already have removed a few of them. And what you do is uh, you take a screwdriver and uh, you pry toward the middle here. And then this middle part will pop up. And when the middle part, uh, pop, uh, the middle part it pops up, you can actually um, get these loose. Otherwise you will break them off. So I got those loose. So the whole thing should come off. Unless we have one more. I think we have one more part. So I'll get that loose. Okay. And then I can take this out. It's a good time to replace the oil filter as well. But uh, you can have access to some of the pulleys and I believe there's a tensioner um, around here also. Um, and we can see which uh, part is making the noise. Okay, as you can see, I have taken the cover off and now um, here's the tensioner right here. That's a 13 millimeter um, socket fits that and what i'm going to do is i have a 13 millimeter socket on it with a breaker bar and i'm going to move that clockwise and that's going to loosen up the tensioner um, what i'm going to do since i'm by myself here is i actually will put something underneath it let me set this right here. So I temporarily set um, something underneath it to hold it in place. In the meantime, one thing that you have to watch out for is uh, to see what um, the serpentine uh, belt goes on where is it uh, which uh, wheels and which um, uh, pulleys it goes on before you take the serpentine belt off to change it or to take it off to see um, what is wrong uh, with uh, any of the parts so just a tip for you guys um, this is uh, the tensioner and when I um, rotated it uh, clockwise it loosened the belt up and uh, um, there's actually when I pull it out you will be able to see may have to put the um, ratchet on it to get it there but if uh, you can see here I can actually pull this out and I don't know sure you can see that right there that there's two holes there's a hole for the tensioner and there's a hole for um, whatever's behind there and uh, when you rotate the tensioner clockwise you can actually put a screwdriver to these through two holes and that will hold the tensioner in place what I have done is I put all the belts on um, I got it uh, mostly on the crank um, pulley and then I just bumped the engine and that got the rest of the belt in place. 
I held the, the tensioner in the loose position and once uh, I had the belt on, I actually, as it, I showed you, I took the screwdriver out. So the belt is back on. So as I loosened the tensioner, um, I was able to take the belt off, the serpentine belt, and I took it off actually of this idler pulley right here. And uh, then I was able to pry it off the rest of the um, pulleys. And it turns out it's actually my air conditioner that went bad. It's barely turning, so that's what I need to replace. So I'm going to order it online. As soon as it comes in, I will put it in. In the meantime, I will put the belt back and hope for the best. I might be able to get a few more days uh, out of it, or if not, I'll use a different vehicle. And then when it comes in, I will uh, replace the air conditioner. I'll show you guys a video on that. And uh, I'll probably end up replacing this belt as well. So um, wait for the video coming up on that. In the meantime, I'll uh, put it back and I'll probably give you maybe a couple of hints of how to put the serpentine belt as well. Thanks. So you can just uh, put the um, cover back on, put the clips in their place, and uh, basically put the tire back on and you're good to go. So that's how you replace a serpentine belt on a 2008 through probably 2014 uh, Maxima 3.5 liter V6. Thank you for watching. See you at the next one.